Good morning. Happy new week to you. This week we are talking about aquatic creatures and we are kicking off the week with 10 reasons to love a whale. We've got so many books down here at the library on aquatic creatures, whales, and fish, and dolphins, and octopi, everything you can possibly imagine. So come on down, check it out, and we will start with this book this morning. I'm Miss Karen, the children's librarian at the Oakmont Carnegie Library, and here are 10 reasons to love a whale. Blue whales are the biggest of all ocean giants. From pole to pole, they swim in seas all around the world. They are gigantic. Blue whales are one of the largest creatures that have ever lived on Earth, powered by a heart the size of a small car. They are bigger than all the dinosaurs except the sauropod. Fully grown blue whales are about 30 times heavier than an elephant, the biggest land animal alive today. Number two, they are hard to find. Blue whales swim in deep water. They travel alone in pairs across vast oceans, so these rare creatures are difficult to find. But if you head to the Canadian Arctic or stare across the warm waters of the Beja, California, a tropical Mexican lagoon, you might be lucky enough to spot a blue whale. Three, they have yellow bellies. From above, blue whales look bright blue, but when they break the surface to breathe, their skin is gray. It is smoother than most other whales' skin. Blue whales seem too fast for crusty barnacles to cling. But one plant does stick to its slippery skin. In cold waters, tiny yellow algae grow on the bellies of blue whales. This makes their bellies look yellow. Number four, they sing across the oceans. Blue whales sing to keep in touch with each other when they are hundreds of miles apart. Their strange songs echo around the world's deepest oceans. The low moans of blue whales are the loudest sounds on earth. But some are so low that human hear ears cannot hear them, so we only hear parts of their haunting underwater melodies. You need almost a blue whale translator, right? They spout towering fountains. The easiest way to find a blue whale is to spout its blowing. A whale is a mammal, so it needs air to survive. When blue whales come up to breathe, they blow out a tall fountain of air and water. The spray spouts from two holes on top of the whale's head. When it dives down after taking a breath, flops of skin cover the holes so its lungs don't fill up with water. Number six, they have a giant mouth. When blue whales eat, long pleats of skin under its throat unfold to create the world's biggest mouth. This expanding cavern leads into a surprisingly narrow throat. Flopping inside its mouth, the blue whale's tongue is as heavy as an elephant. Instead of teeth, it has rows of sieve-like bristles made from the same material as human hair and nails. They eat pink food. Blue whales feed on krill, tiny pink shrimp, no bigger than a paper clip that live in gigantic swarms in the ocean. You would think such big creatures would eat big things, but they don't. Nobody knows how blue whales find krill, but when they do, they gulp them in swirling mouthfuls of seawater. The shrimp gets stuck between the whale's bristles, and with its huge tongue, it pushes the water out and licks off the krill. There is a krill cloud right there. They are globetrotters. Blue whales travel to cold polar waters to find food. In these icy seas, they eat 40 million krill every day. They fatten up to survive for months in warmer seas where food is scarce. Blue whales migrate to the equator, where they breed and the females give birth. Months later, they return to colder seas with their newborn calves to feed. And there is the map for you. Nine, they are mighty mothers. Blue whales give birth to the biggest babies in the world. Born tail first in warm waters, newborn calves grow quickly on their mother's rich milk. This helps them keep up and stay close as she swims. Sometimes a whale mother bumps her baby to the surface to keep to help it rest and to let it breathe. This keeps her calf close to the pro I'm sorry, keeps her calf close to protect it from killer whales. The blue whale's only predator. You can see her with her baby, so cute. 10, they are survivors. Once the seas teemed with blue whales, but hundreds of thousands were hunted for meat and blubber, so they almost disappeared. Whaling is now banned, but blue whales are still in danger of extinction. 
To protect all whales, we must look after our seas. We need to keep whales safe from fishing gear, being hit by ships, and illegal whaling. Their survival depends on us. And there's a nice example. Well, not a nice example, but an example of that right behind me. That's a portrait of Moby Dick. We've got some beautiful artwork in here that were done by Syasad. So come on down to the library and, uh, sorry so bumpy, visit us. Go to oakmontlibrary.org and come on down and check out some books. We'll see you this week for Grab and Go. We have Piranhas Don't Eat Bananas as our feature story. We'll see you soon.